Madam Speaker, this morning I was at a, uh, my ward with about 100 students. Today is Canada Flag Day, and I invited the students for us to raise the flag, and this was done at Lamaru Community Center. 100 cheerful kids running around looking into the future. Somebody came to me and says, I was in uh, Councillor Mamalidis and uh, Doug Ford's meeting the other day, and I don't want you to raise anything, and I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I want to make sure that uh, we stop the gravy train. So I looked at him and I said, tell me which part of this center, what gravy train do you want to cut? He looked around, he kept looking around. I said, would you want us to cut the singers programs? No. There was a pool hall that we have and seniors congregate in there and they play pool. And I said, would you like to cut this? No. Then I said, what gravy train would you want us to cut? He says, well, you know, we can cut staff pay and we can do this and we can do that and staff down there make a lot of money. I said, you know what, staff down there that make a lot of money work long hours in order to make sure that what you have here is substantiated and what you have here is maintained. Tell me what part of this community center you want us to cut. He kept scratching his head and scratching his head and he says, well, I guess you're right. We, we got to, everybody has to pay a fair share. And he turns around and says, you know, I'm a senior, I'm on fixed income. And I went, yeah, we earn fixed income, so there's a lot of people on fixed income. However, the cost of life goes up. I can understand that a senior on fixed income doesn't want to see the price on his taxes go up. And I can understand when people say, I want zero increase in the budget. But I, what I cannot understand is when that person says, I want zero increase in the budget, and that person takes off and says, it's the new immigrants that are at fault. They're lining up to get welfare. Well, Madam Speaker, this rhetoric keeps coming back year after year after year. And every new person that comes in says, shut the door behind me. Let's not forget that we all came off the boat. Let's not forget when the Italians came here with our papers, they used to be called WOP, and then I'm stuck to them. When the Greeks came here, they all got into the restaurant business. And the thing stuck to them that all the Greeks are in the restaurant business, and they were called displaced people. And to mention that we got to cut off the services to the newcomers because they line up on welfare, or is the federal government's responsibility? Well, I got to tell you, I've seen what the federal government does, and I've seen the cutbacks that they do. And every time they do a cutback, they do it on the backs of the people of the city of Toronto, the newcomers of the city of Toronto. And for us not to be there to, to fill that void, we're only saying to them, we really don't care about you. You don't count. You don't need to be here. And when I hear this rhetoric in this chamber, I'm really ashamed of it. And when I hear colleagues that mention the fact that newcomers are the cause of every wall that we have, again, it's a shame. So let's not mislead the public. In order to run a city, and every time it snows, every time they want their programs and everything else, it costs money. And to say that year after year after year, we're going to have zero increase in the budget. Well, where's the money going to come from? You can only cut back so much. You can only cut out so many things. And then what's going to happen? We're not going to be able to give our citizens what they deserve. So therefore, I would say to colleagues, don't be fooled when you hear the rhetoric, zero and the gravy train. There's absolutely no gravy train. The gravy train is something that people say in order to fulfill their own political agendas. When I hear people in this chamber, in this floor, take it out on new immigrants and newcomers, I feel ashamed, not only myself, but of them that they also mentioned it. So I say to you colleagues, please be aware of what is in that gravy train. I want to thank you, Madam Speaker, and I will sit down at this point in time because I'm really infuriated with people that want to take it out on the back of the newcomers. Thank you. <clears throat>